love millennials. I birthed four of them. I love them. Millennials are some of the most brilliant, well-connected, confused people on the face of the earth. I don't say entitled because they've gone through a pandemic. So if there was any of that, it kind of got knocked out. But I get to travel and speak to youth conferences, which is hilarious. They're like, hey, let's get a token grandma. Anyway, I'll, I'll do youth conferences and I will, you know, I will get them to come up to me afterwards and they'll say, I know God has his hand on my life for something significant. And I'll say, I, I 100% agree. And then they say, but I have no idea what that is. Well, I'm going to tell you something. You will never discover what you are called to do looking at what everybody else is doing or what everybody else has done. And I believe that God is asking a generation to do something that has never been done before. And when God asks a, na- a generation to do something that has never been done before, the greatest distraction is what has been done before. And so we need to lean in. And I believe that we are going to see multi-generational ministries. We're going to see the old and the young. We're going to see the men and the women. We're going to see everybody at every age group coming from a different perspective but saying the same thing. We are anointed to prophesy in these last days, but instead we have settled for criticizing and criticizing takes no anointing. I need a generation of young and old to begin to prophesy. When we prophesy, we say thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is prophesying. We need to speak under divine inspiration and stop attacking one another.